Takolile, there's been a lot of conversations around the country around the impact of COVID-19 regulations on the schooling system. What, according to your understanding, was the impact and how do you think the president can roll out a strategy to help learners and teachers recover? Look, first and foremost, we all know that the rotational learning was really devastating for learners because uh, majority of the learners across the country have lost you know, close to 50% of their learning and teaching time. Worse is for rural and township schools that have lost between 50 and 80% of their learning and teaching time. I mean, Nick Spohl, uh, which is a good researcher in education, has indicated that a grade 3 learner in June this year will only know what a grade 2 learner knew in 2019. So these are some of the challenges that we have, and that exacerbates the already unequal education system that we already have and those are the one of the one of the biggest challenges we've had during COVID-19 and that's why as the Democratic Alliance we actually went to court to scrap the rotational learning and the one meter social distancing and I think moving forward what is most important now is to have a curriculum recovery plan that is actually funded by government because these learners will take between 10 and 15 years just to recover first and foremost we need to ensure that we try and get retired teachers to come on board to give extra lessons and we must fund that if we decide to extend the school day that must also be funded because teachers already are demoralized and we need to incentivize them to make sure that they, they cover the curriculum. Speaking of recovery we know that millions of students have dropped out of the schooling system altogether. How much of a crisis is this exactly? Look dropouts are a massive crisis. There's a million uh, worth of learners that have actually dropped out of the system from 2010 already and uh, during the COVID-19 uh, period it was between 350,000 to 750,000 learners that actually left the system in its entirety. So it's important for the department to ensure that there's a, re a track tracing and retention strategy working with the Dep Department of Social Development to ensure that we get these learners back in school because otherwise if we leave them out of school that's why you will see a lot of Nyawope boys, you will see a lot of crime increasing in these communities, and you will see that there's a lot of youth not in education, employment and training, 3.3 million of them according to Stats SA, and I'm sure we're all aware of the high youth unemployment that these learners then go and contribute to. Yeah. So it's important for us to, to rope in social development, it's important for us to have uh, tracking, tracing and learner retention strategies from schools to provinces as well, working with a whole government uh, approach uh, and well as communities and parents trying to come on board to solve the crisis. Okay. Parting shots, what is your mandate to the president tonight? Look, uh, for the president, first and foremost, we need, like I said, uh, there must be a learner a retention, dropout and tracking uh, strategy for those learners that actually ha have uh, dropped out so that we can get back th them into schooling. The, the second thing is to, for the president to talk about infrastructure. There's one billion that has been underspent. We've got over 2,111 pit toilets in schools. We've got 7,200 uh, schools that have no fence. Um, and we've got schools that are still of made of mud and asbestos that have been removed from the list. So in order for us to create a conducive learning environment for learners, we need to make sure that we pump in the money in there and we build and get rid of these uh, schools with pit toilets and mud on time. Thirdly, there must be a strategy on online and homeschool education and that must be funded to alleviate the pressure of the admissions policies in schools where some learners actually don't find placement. And as we speak, there's only 29% of schools that have been uh, have access to uh, internet or what we call network in our country. So there must be a strategy to how do we best make sure that they've got network so that we can be able to develop an online and homeschool policy for them to be online learning. And then lastly, I think it's very, very important for uh, the government to ensure that the funding for the equitable share into provinces is increased for learners with special needs so that they are calculated into that to change the quantile system so that we to learn children and parents that can't afford schooling are not put in a quantile five school to be forced to be paid, pay school fees when they're supposed to be an no free paying school. So those are some of the things that I think the president needs to address today for us to, to try and change our education system for the better. Max, thank you. Thank you so much.